In today's video, I'm bringing you five quick facts about Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. And that's coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 Anime. In today's video, I'm bringing you five quick facts about Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So with the release of My Hero Academia Season 3 coming up in April, I thought I'd add to the hype of it and uh, start doing five quick facts about characters from the show. But with that being said, here are the facts. So Izuku Midoriya is basically, he's also known as Deku. He's of course the main protagonist in My Hero Academia. Though he was originally born without a quirk, he does manage to catch the attention of pro hero All Might, who passed down his legendary quirk one for all, making Izuku the ninth user of this quirk. Izuku's birthday is on the 15th of July. He actually shares his birthday with another Shonen Jump protagonist, Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. But there's also another character in the show that shares this same birthday, that being Mirio Tagata. Midoriya stands at 166 centimeters uh, short. His hair and eye color are both green and his blood type is O, which came in handy against the hero killer Stain. He was also born near the Shizuka prefecture to his mother Inko Midoriya and his father Hisashi Midoriya. We do not know much about about his father but we can assume that he's still alive and he's probably taken a work post somewhere abroad as both Izuku and his mother do not really speak about him in the past tense. Izuku Midoriya went through a couple of changes when it came to his character design before we finally finished up with the end product that we know now. There was a one shot My Hero where Izuku was first planned to be drawn as an adult. He kept the surname Midoriya but went under the first name of Jack. Jack worked in a company which basically sold hero items. However, the story behind him was the same. He was a kind of a quirkless adult who wanted to become a hero. The idea of him being an adult, of course, was scrapped and the author went back to using Izuku around the age of 14, which I, I think was personally probably better. There was another early concept for Midoriya. He was known as Mikumo Akatani. He had longer curlier hair with bangs that were blocking one of his eyes. He was also quirkless in this concept, relying more on kind of gadgets and look to deal with obstacles. His hero costume was also slightly more intimidating. And for anyone that is a fan of the My Hero Academia manga, one of the cool things they do between chapters is the author will talk about like a bit of behind the scenes to each character. In Izuku's case, he kind of briefly talks about the last two things that we were talking about, which I thought was really cool. So I'll just read out what we've got here. So this guy started out in a one shot that didn't end up getting serialized, but I felt like using him again. So he's largely unchanged. He may look a little plain for a protagonist, but when I tried covering one eye with a lock of hair, all I could think was get a damn haircut. So I kept him plain. I honestly think that the he looks the better and I, you know what I completely agree with that but let me know what you think in the comment section below the name Deku was given to Izuku by Bakugo when they were little, and this was basically as an insult. Deku means one who can't achieve slash do anything, but it's also a shorter version to mean defenseless Izuku. But later on in the show, Uraraka found the nickname inspiring, and she felt that Deku gives off a feeling of, I can do it. Obviously coming from Uraraka as well, I believe this gave Midori that extra nudge to go for the name. But saying that, it could also be seen as a reference to the Deku race from the Legend of Zelda franchise, who are, of course were seen as weak, but can hit pretty hard when they first attack. Midoriya ranked 7th during the entrance exam and last for the quirk apprehension test, which was 20th. Midoriya is student number 18 in class 1A and he ranks 4th in the class's grades. Of course as well he ranked in the top 8 of the UA Sports Festival in the first year stage. But as we can see his grades are kind of up and down there. One thing he doesn't fall short on is popularity. Izuku ranked first in the first popularity poll which made him the most popular character in the series at the time. Though when it came to the second and third popularity poll he ranked second and this was behind Bakugo. As I mentioned earlier, Midoriya is the ninth user of the one for all quirk. But I've got a bit more about the attacks here we have the Detroit Smash. This was the same as All Might's, however Izuku did it in the form of an uppercut rather than a full-on smash. The next attack we saw mainly in the UA Sports Festival, particularly against Todoroki. This was where Izuku flicks his finger to create like a powerful shockwave. This was called the Delaware Smash, but doing this of course fractured his fingers and he could only limit the amount of times he did it, because of course every time he did do it, he'd end up injuring himself. Then we move on to probably one of the, the, the pivotal point in Izuku's journey so far. Through his training with Gran Torino, 
he was able to unlock the next stage of his power and get better control of his quirk. This was called One For All Full Cal. This is basically where he envisioned the microwave and decided to let One For All like flow throughout him all at once rather than just focusing it into a single limb. And because of this technique, it actually allowed Izuku to activate 8% of the quirk rather than the previous 5%. This technique, of course, gave him enhanced strength, speed, mobility, and agility, and it finally prevents him from breaking any of his bones when he attacks. Following this, we saw a 5% Detroit Smash. This would be when Izuku activates one for all full cow and then jumps into the air and delivers an enhanced downward punch to the opponent. Though we also saw him use this move in the form of just a straightforward punch. This later one here, I believe, is what we're going to be seeing in Season 3, but it's one for all full cow shoot style. This is where I believe we'll see a big change to Izuku's powers and his style in particular. Izuku will concentrate one for all full cow's effect to his torso and legs rather than his arms, which will allow him to put out even more power due to the fact that the human leg muscles are much stronger than the human arm muscles. This will finally allow Deku to step away from the shackles of having to imitate All Might, thus giving him his own style, and I'm really, really excited to see that. Let me know if you are as well in the section below. But thanks for watching, this was my video, 5 quick facts about Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. I hope you enjoyed the video and of course let me know which character you'd like to see next week in the section below. But if you'd like to see more of these anime facts videos, anime subscription boxes, figure reviews and more then hit the subscribe button right now. Of course if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button, share this video with a friend or leave me a comment in the section below. But that is it from me, I will see you in the next video, take care.